For weeks, students at Grant Middle School in the California Central Valley city of Reedley spent hours after school working on a special project. I wonder if this is going to be too tight of a turn, you guys. A team of sixth graders and a second team with seventh and eighth graders are building tiny train systems that will be entered into the Fresno State Transportation Institute Railroad Model Competition. What I need this crew right here to work on. Teacher and advisor John Westrick explains the students are part of MESA, the Math, Engineering, Science, and Achievement Club. It's neat to see them kind of get out of their comfort zones every now and then and just try something so complicated and maybe not think they were going to be very good at it and then they start to see, hey, this is pretty cool, I can do this. Like if you notice over here on this one. While some are building the railroad, others are creating a PowerPoint. It's clear this is fun, but they're also learning. I don't think they realized how important railroads are here in the United States. I don't think they really appreciated the history of the railroad industry and how it affected the actual forming of our country. The students admit it's not an easy task. Nine. Nine. Every student says their calculations show them it takes big bucks to build trains. I've learned how trains work and um, I've learned also like how to build stuff and like the concept of money. Well, like the railroads cost a lot of money, and even you still have to maintain it, um, even though, even though you already bought the land. Then go ahead and position the wire in there first, Armin. The main goal is to get their trains rolling. All right, good job. So you're gonna try to get these two to to mine up, and to keep them on track. Yes. No. When they arrive at the day-long railroad model competition at Fresno State, trains have to move, calculations must be on the mark, along with other details before time expires in the areas of operations, research, and design bill. The biggest thing is your heart. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. California High Speed Rail Authority Chief Engineer Brian Maroney is among the judges. And as part of the I Will Ride program, the Authority is a proud sponsor of five teams in this year's competition. They went through a process that is very similar to NEPA, National Environmental Policy Act, which is a federal law, and they looked at different alternatives, different routes, and they evaluated them on a set of rules, uh, values. Organizers hope competitors remember they can make a real good living working in transportation. And whatever you want to be, if you want to be an engineer, if you want to be a scientist, if you want to be a public health person, environmental person, there's always a place for you in, in transportation industry. And the winner in the middle school category is our Golden Spikes from Grand Middle School. But for now, the students concentrate on winning. Grant Middle School teams NAD three awards, Most Spirited Team, Outstanding Team, and Design Build. Many vow to return to compete again next year.